We will continue working with the BMAT 2010 paper. Uh, let's take up problem number eight. Uh, it's a, a theory of equations problem. It says that we have an equation x raised to four plus x squared equals to one. Question is, uh, what can we say about the roots of this equation? What can we say about the roots of this equation? So there is a very standard way of approaching problems like this. What you do is you set x square equals to y. Uh, the goal is to goal is to convert into a quadratic. Uh, the reason being that we we can work with quadratics. We know how to deal with quadratics. Uh, we do not know how to, for example, how to deal with biquadratics. Of course, there there are some formulas for biquadratic um, equations, but no one really remember, remembers them. And there, that's not even the point in this particular problem. So, let's uh, replace x squared by y. We get y squared plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve it. So y equals to negative 1 plus 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4. Mm, 4 a c by 2. So what we have is essentially negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 by 2. Now this uh, brings us to x square equals to negative 1 plus square root of 5 by 2. And we have x square equals to square root of uh, negative 1 negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now clearly uh, this will lead to uh, four solutions as is expected. I mean it's a fourth degree polynomial so we are expecting four solutions. Now this first set uh, x square equals to root 5 minus 1 by 2. Uh, this will give us two solutions. Of course x is equal to square root of root 5 minus 1 over 2 and negative root 5 minus 1 over 2. These are the two solutions. And this will give us two, two imaginary solutions. Solutions. So a pretty straightforward problem really. Uh, we have one positive, one negative, and two non-real solutions. So D is the correct answer, of course.